more events round up this week, we will have a look back on events that happened in our MM Nigeria community just on a single day in October of 2016. And Gaider Emilson 1 will give us another insightful discussion on his Just My Opinion segment. All this when we return in a bit. To all our viewers around the world, this is MNC, your Mavro News Channel. Our events roundup this week will be dedicated to a look back for our MMM Nigeria community, where on October 22nd of last year, 10 guiders have had offline events on different locations across the country. We start off with guider Oghali Okeri, who conducted his presentation at the Dukes and Donald's fast food in Aba, Avia State. He was not fortunate to draw a big crowd as he had only three guests who came but for Gaider Oghali, they were enough fertile grounds to sow the seeds of MM on. He warmly welcomed them and introduced them to the history of MMM and its ideology. The bulk of his talk was about Mavro and how it grows, the donation exchange process and the benefits that each member gets. He told them that understanding clearly these three things is the bulk of what they will encounter while participating in the community. He followed these topics with a talk about the risks and the rules and regulations of the community intended for them to have a safe participation. Unlike Gaider Oghale, Gaider Sir Louis fared better that day in terms of attendance as he had about 2,000 invites present during his presentation at the Ocello Shell in Benin City, Edo State. One of the highlights of his talk was when he shared the reasons why he joined MMM. He told them that one of it was because MMM does not have any central account like banks. He said that this means the money he donates never passes through the hands of any administrator who may run off with it anytime. Another reason he stated is the peer-to-peer -peer exchange which he had would mean that the recipients get their money directly. So if a freeze or restart happens, he is assured that a fellow member benefited from his money and not MMM. All throughout the talk, Guider Louis was very detailed in his explanations. It took them about an hour to finish but for the guests, it was a well-spent time because they learned so much about the MMM community and how it really operates. A registered member of uh, MMM Nigeria. When I, when I started, I paid uh, a sum of 90,000 naira. Then after, after 30 days, I requested for help. The sum of 140,000 was paid to me. And since then, I've been, I've been a benefactor. It has really, it has been helping me. One, uh, MWM Nigeria is where it's a very nice place to be. That testimony from an active member of MMM Nigeria is what opened Guider Leonard on Yegbu's live presentation at the Simply Exponential Consult Hall in Allen Ikeja, Lagos State on October 22, 2016. Can you just tell us uh, when you joined MMM? He had a small crowd in attendance, but Guider Leonard still made sure that they get all the information that they came to hear about. He described MM as a global community of people centered on the culture of giving and helping each other be free from the current unfair financial system. He added that this was the vision of Sergey Mavrodi when he re-established MMM in 2011 as a mutual aid community. While discussing about Mavros and the benefits of each MMM participant, he pointed out that any growth of their Mavro should not be treated as an interest. 
but as a reward for their taking part in the system. He also told them that given these benefits, they should look out also for any greed that it may awaken in them and reminded them to only use their spare funds in making donations. Gaider Leonard stressed this again when he talked next about the rules on safe participation. And the last 20 minutes of his program was spent on discussing the frequently asked questions about MMM and answering questions from his invites. While Gaider Leonard opted for a testimony as his opening, Gaider Siku chose to speak about the current financial situation in their home country of Nigeria during his own event at the Zes International Hotel in Akoka, also in Lagos State. Okay, so we'll be discussing today about how about MMM and how it can impact your life, my life. And he said that country. currently their money is in a state of recession. And as a result, people end up with less money to spend and others are getting fired from their jobs. He added that this not only impacts the fired employee, but also their families who depend on their income. From there, guide their seek a position MMM as an option that could help every Nigerian face those uncertainties by citing several reasons. He said that joining MMM is free and that they do not need to have big amounts of money to participate. He also added that even those who cannot make donations outright can still earn rewards by just being active in inviting people to become members. Before closing, Guider Siko again told his guests that MMM can offer them a big opportunity to change their lives for the better, especially with the current economic situation they are in. But he added that it could only happen if they all decide to take part in the community by signing up for an account and becomes active in spreading its ideology. Also in Lagos that day, Guider Promise Morgan was at the Humble Star Hotel Limited in Oshodi for his live presentation about MMM. He had seven guests who were asked to introduce themselves one by one after the opening prayer. From there, Guider Morgan opened a formal discussion by defining what MMM is and its guiding ideology. He described Mavro a help index of the system and told his guests that this is the one getting rewards and not their actual money. He also showed them in detail how the exchange of donations happen and how the bonuses are computed. While discussing the recent vote in participating, Guider Morgan reminded them several times of making spare money donations only. All throughout his presentation, he was very thorough. He continued doing the same when answering questions and this was greatly appreciated by his guests as they understood MMM better. I believe so much in the power of giving. And anybody or anybody that is in this system she also believe in what? The power of giving. We are giving freely and we only give freely. That was Gaider Benga Adiparusi as he was describing the nature of MMM during his opportunity seminar at the Colvin Event Solution in Barua Ipaha, Lagos State, also on October 22, 2016. He further recounted that MMM is currently the largest peer-to-peer -peer donation exchange platform in the world. He said that one of its great appeal is because MMM does not have a central account, so people are sure that their intended recipients are really the one getting the donations. Add to that is the goal that MMM has for its members, a fair financial system wherein they no longer need to go to banks to borrow money and be charged with big interest. Next up on his discussion was how the donation exchange works. Gaider Jebenga explained how Mavro grows as well and where MMM gets the fund to give the bonuses. He followed this with the rules that each participant must observe, putting emphasis on the importance of just having a single account in making prompt donations. He also talked about the mechanism of security that MMM has before doing an open forum. 
Many questions were asked, especially about the rules, and Guider Jibenga gladly answered them all. From Lagos State, we now move to the Nasarawa, a state where Guider Amaju Elijah Emiikpa had his offline seminar at the Family Health Care Foundation in Lafia. He was one of the guiders who was lucky that day to draw a bigger crowd as he had 27 people in attendance. After talking about an overview of MMM, its history and ideology, Guider Amadou focused most of his time talking about the provide help and get help cycle. He even used a marker to do illustrations as he explained each part of the process. During this part, he was able to explain to them the concept of Marlboro and its growth and assure them that on all exchanges of funds, MMM only records them as Marlboros but never get to collect them. As he was explaining the cycle, Guider Amadu also included the kind of bonuses each member gets. He also reminded them the importance of sending their donations within the allotted time and ensuring that they provide proof of sending to avoid any sanctions on their accounts. Aside from this, he also showed them how an imbalanced PHGHQ could lead to post mode or restart. All throughout, he was relaxed and thorough. There were questions also that pop here and there and Guider Amado made sure that they are answered first before he moved on to other topics. Our last story for this week also happened in Oshun State on October 22, 2016. Guider Taiwo Okonade was able to gather about 3,000 people at the community hall in Catholic Mission Road, LEFE, who all wanted to hear more about the MMM community. He gave an overview of what MMM is and shared that it now has more than 200 million members in 118 countries. Gader explained further that the community is composed of people who are willing to do mutual aid through donation exchange. He clarified though that MMM by itself only provides a system to connect people who want to donate those who need help and never at any time take hold of funds from participants. From there, he moved on to talk about the benefits, risks and rules for safe participation. They were all attentive as he moved from one topic to another. For those who were still had some questions, Guider Taiwo allowed them to ask it at the last part of the program before snacks were served. Great day again to all the viewers around the world. I'm Emil and you are watching MNC's Just My Opinion. On our previous topic, we discussed about the restart which occurred in the community of MMM Myanmar. I really understand uh, why most of the feedbacks are message of disappointment and complaints. I know how it feels to redo everything from scratch. But what can we do? Things always happen unexpectedly. It's only a matter of choice if we will face it or turn away from it. Moving on with our topic this week, I got another great question from one of our viewers. He asked, why there are tons of reviews about MMM and why they are keeping or keep coming? That's really a timely question, especially that there was a recent restart. For sure, hundreds to thousands of new reviews about MMM will flourish the internet world but have you ever asked uh, yourself why they are keep uh, or why they are keep creating these reviews for MMM and while there are honest reviews why is it that the majority of the reviews are negative and one-sided are all reviews about MMM reliable should you listen to them well let me tell you my experience about those reviews Five years ago, when I'm still new to the internet, especially Google, I used to read different articles and reviews when I'm interested on something. I used the search bar and type in the keyword just like what everyone else does. Little did I know that some articles written actually just came out of nowhere, completely unreliable. I only knew it when a friend of mine who's an internet marketer told me about making money from website 
traffic. And that is when I started to literally select which website to visit and which website to avoid. I became cautious of what to believe of all these things the internet offers me to read. What I discover is around 50% of the article, or half of it, is actually unreliable. Yes, you heard it, 50% of what you read in the internet is actually unreliable. It means they came from an unverified source. So, why do they exist if they are not true at all? And why most of these reviews appears to be negative? Basically, no one owns the internet, right? So that means any person can publish his own website or create his own content out of thin air. And since the internet is freedom platform, they can do anything they want. Most of them appear to be negative because people who only want money from website visitors knew that the majority of readers tend to search for negative topics rather than the positive ones. This is also the reason why 90% of the world population is in poverty because there are more pessimists than optimists. So, to sum up my answer, I think it is better if you do your own research before believing what you read uh, from an article posted. Not all the things you read from the internet are true, so be careful who and what to believe. This is not only applicable for MMM, this will also become useful for your future activities and ventures. That's it for this week. I will see you again next week. This is Emil saying, remember that everything that I said in this video is just my opinion. Have a great day and bye-bye. With that, we end another episode of MNC, your Mavro News Channel. Greeting to our participants from Thailand who are celebrating the religious festival called Asalha Bucha. Enjoy your day. I am Mark. Always remember, together we change the world.